It's a dangerous move, but I'm going to do it. We're going to finish Resident Evil 4. Let's go. Straight into chapter 16. Headache be damned. Or I'll be damned by my headache. Ashley. I'm right here. Has she managed to get us into the chair? I thought you were going to die. Okay. You did this. Yeah. Yeah, I did this. Can you stand? Well done, you. Uh, just about. The map? Yeah, I found it. I think it says we can get out if we go this way. Hey, we're a team, right? Keep this up. I'll be out of a job. Oh. Look at her. She's so pleased. So Bless her. All of this, removing the parasites, this was the week. Yeah, we're alive. Thanks to him. I'm surprised this thing even booted up. Yeah, that's that's not exactly modern tech, is it? Speaking of first aid sprays. Files. Methods for eradicating Las Plagas. There are two ways to eradicate Las Plagas. Antigen injection and surgery. If the parasite has not hatched yet, it can be treated by administering antigen directly into the body. Once it is hatched, however, there's not much that can be done besides slow its growth. With surgery, the plaga can be targeted and killed using a certain wavelength of radiation, but this is not without its risks. If the parasite has attached itself to the host nervous system, the host will experience excruciating pain. Yay. And there is no effective anesthesia for this kind of procedure. Surgical removal carries considerable risks, even before the parasite is fully developed. Once fully grown, however, it is too late. Removing the parasite will kill the host. But considering what will happen to them, death may be a mercy. Europe Laboratory 6 Dream Team. So I'm assuming that that in the middle is Luis. I'm also wondering if I'm supposed to recognise some of these others. Who's the dipshit with the umbrella? <laughs> It's weird. Some of these look absolutely fine. And then a couple of them look like they've got proper full-on superimposed heads. Um, which is always entertaining to me. Saddler's Animus. Do not be fooled into thinking that Las Plagas are merely tools for creating powerful bioweapons. Their true value lies in their ability to control. No matter how hostile the subject, a single injection can turn anyone into a faithful servant. Who needs spies when you can turn yesterday's enemy into today's ally? Controlling just one insider can bring an entire organisation, an entire country to its knees. Mass production of the superior species has made this possible. We have empowered Sadler. It is clear what he intends to do next. Can you imagine if Sadler had that much control? Six billion loyal servants at his sole command. There'd be no opposition, no war. Maybe for the first time in human history, the world would know peace. But I know how Sadler and the others have oppressed the people of this island for generations. I know how he treats them. That's no way to live. And because of that, I won't let it happen. Not the most uncomfortable place I've slept before. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. This sample, which I've come to call the Amber, was just sitting in the storeroom collecting dust. We used to have ample specimens for experimentation in the past, so it makes sense that this one was overlooked. In fact, the only reason I brought it back to my lab was because of its peculiar shape. After a basic analysis, I've changed my mind. This amber possesses a very unique quality. Although small and in a suspended state, it contains the same organ found in the dominant species, which we've only seen in Sadler himself. When fully developed, the amber may rival or perhaps even surpass Sadler's power. Unfortunately, the amber was confiscated by Sadler before I could make any further progress in my research. He may be onto me. I need to get my hands on that sample again and escape in order to continue my research elsewhere. It's the only way to counter Sadler. 
Of course, I don't think I can trust this outside group either, but I've already come this far. Hopefully, I can sweet talk my way out of this one too. I'll have to. For the world's sake. So that's the amber that he went back for that, um, that Ada and whoever she's working for was after. Someone had a field day looting the umbrella labs. What is that? Sachets of something? Uh, okay. So, there's a collapsible ladder. Subject regarding our arrangement from Luis. I've compiled the research data that you wanted. Meet me at the designated time and place. To be clear, you're going to get me the hell out of here if I bring you the goods, right? From AW. I hope you haven't forgotten about the amber. Without it, the data is worthless. It would be a shame to let your seat go to waste, so do not make me return empty-handed. You still remember the code phrase, I assume. Relax, I haven't forgotten, and don't worry about the amber. I'll figure something out. Think you can prick me up a pack of smokes on the way. Any brand is fine. So that was Luis's uh, arrangement with Ada. This lab is just right at the end of the entire complex. Okay, so I guess we're going back to the sanctuary to start off with. Alright, there's a ladder there. Uh, yeah, so we're going up this ladder. Sorry. Like I said, we're a team. She's so chipper. Thank you. Good at that. Right. I think Ashley probably would um, do something as part of kind of a, this kind of team. Um, this is a shooty one, isn't it? Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, never been better. You fibber, Leon. You absolute fibber. Uh, right, why was that map? Not that. Can we look at the map? I would have thought, unless it's an actual item. Let's eat a fish while we're here. Um, so this sends us back up and over the top. But oh yeah, this is the this is the section that we kind of stumbled our way through, isn't it? I'm wondering if there's any stuff down there. Wonder how integral Ashley's gonna be to the final fight as well. Look at this place. That woman who helped us. You think she's alright? Oh, I'm sure she's fine. She's not the type to roll over that easy. Mm-hmm. Sounds like you know her well. <laughs> Is there a little tinge of jealousy there, Ashley? This aid is a pain in the ass. This place has collapsed, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, shit! Hi, friend! I never even thought to check. Oh, 
Right, we can get up there, probably. Which means first, we go exploring down here. Yeah, I'm bad, but I'm not that bad game. And I was also expecting that. Osmond. Provenance Monolith. M-D-L-I-V. 15... 44? That's not right, is it? No. Adam Sadler. Deep beneath the castle grounds, I have found my faith. Oh, behold the divine vestiges left upon this world. It all begins here. Illuminados pendant. Treasure. Pendant with a sinister shine. Nice. And this book. Illuminados final chapter. Praise be to the holy insects. We have been promised... P promised promised paradise on earth man woman or child his love does not discriminate beast fish or bird all creatures shall be equally blessed praise be to the holy insects we are the humble servants of god his wisdom will overcome any mountain his omnipotence will cross any ocean the light of heaven dwells in all things let our bodies be the seed bed praise be to the holy insects we are the flock and the shepherd guides us our prayers will be sung all over the world. They will be heard by all. At last, we shall exceed the stars in the sky. Not so. So much nuts. So much nuts. Hey, this looks like the other side of one of those doors that we were at earlier. It's not. Really? Not entirely sure why that didn't hit the first time. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Every little helps when it comes to gunpowder at this stage. Sorry, Ashley, making you run back and forth. It was a valiant effort. Truly, it was. Oh, hello, stranger. Is he going to turn out to betray us? Interesting. Just randomly left on the path. Achievement unlocked. Raider. Obtain all treasures indicated on the island treasure map in a single playthrough. Well done, me. Uh, this looks kind of finalish, doesn't it? Why not treat yourself, mate? Why not? Welcome what have you got? Celestial. Anything? Good things on sale, stranger. Better to be over prepared. Your inventory is full. When you've got the space. Uh. Why not try your hand at a new gun, stranger? Might save your life. These two get to cancel your purchase. Might want to take care of any leftover errands. Boy. Yeah, okay. So this is the... Uh... This is our last chance. Going this okay. Uh... Yep, 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 yep. 
Don't we need some machine gun stuff? But be ashamed to live the rest of your life wondering what if am I right? We, got, we don't actually have anything left to go and do, which is nice. But nothing that we can do anyway. Um, there is, however, somewhere. A Castellan. Oh, there's also some gunpowder in there. <laughs> Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. <laughs> ah. Now, I haven't heard it yet, but to be fair, it could have been down in that. What's it place? I don't know. What are you looking at? Oh, Ada. We'll, uh, we'll ogle you in a second. I mean, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at you. No, we'll, we'll, you know what I mean. Hi, Ada. Ada. Uh, there's nothing else to look at. He's going to lure me out. Is he right? I think this is it. Stay here. I won't be long. Okay. Yeah, we don't want you getting in the way during the boss fights. Because <laughs> that's clearly what's happening now. Ada! Oh, Jesus Christ! That would break both of her legs. Oh. Man's got tentacles. And. Nice. This isn't going to work. We need to destroy his staff, don't we? One of us. One of us. <laughs> Ada looks... Uh, How are you saying that through an eyeball? And the Escalada. like somebody who kneels ow okay that's got some range on it that might not be the most sensible way of doing that Jump, Leon. Thank you. Go. Nope. Nah, he's faster than I. Wow. Oops. I should probably parry that. Damn it, what am I doing? Oh, 
Playing badly. That's what I'm doing. Oh, he's got a... Uh... Ouch. Uh, sure. He's got friends. Nope, that was a ter- uh, whoops. Oh, great. Guess we're not going that way then. Right. Get rid of these first. Oh shit. We're being corralled. Oh dear. Ooh. Oh shit, there's uh Running away. <laughs> Leon's got uh Oh, hello. Oops. Ow. That's his reset, sir. Uh Balls. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Oh, I thought that was, uh, He's got another one on his back. Ow! There we go. But of course, I can't get to him because... Oh, that works. Supposed to deal with that. Very dramatic. Run, 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 run. Knife in the eyeball. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Something tells me that's not it. <laughs> there we go. I'm getting sick of your shit. 
<laughs> do we get more control? We do. Uh, do I have a magnum on me? Yes, I do. I think I'm supposed to just move. Use this. <laughs> Aid at turning up with the rocket launcher. <laughs> Special. You're small time. Huh? A nice catch. I'll give you a holy body. <laughs> oh, that's so lovely. Oof. Ow. Oof. So Ada's going to take the bit of the staff. That's the amber, I assume. Yoink. Ada. What the hell are you doing? Nothing personal, Leon. Luis and I had an arrangement. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. For whom? Right here. You coming? We've got to... Uh... I think we both know this. this is where we go our separate ways. I see. She almost looks disappointed. Better get a move on. What was that? <laughs> Until next time, Leon. Leon! Hey! Where is she going? Who knows? I don't understand. Why would she just... Because that's what she does. It's gonna what? <laughs> it's gonna what? I did not see... Mind you, we've probably got... S oh, shit. So the... the it's going to be on here, isn't it? The Castellan's going to be around here somewhere. In fact, let's just quickly... That's not there. Oh, we've got a typewriter, so we can technically... Uh, Is this just an escape sequence? Now we can go home. We're not out of here yet. Uh-huh. Woo! Thanks. You're welcome, partner. Oh, hello. What the hell is that? Uh... Oh no, it's not that, it's this.
It only gives us two minutes, so it's not a huge amount of time. Not bad. I can't. No, that's our escape, isn't it? That's 100% our escape. So it's gotta be. There's nowhere else that I can think it would be. They wouldn't put it in the boss fights. Thank you. Revolution wind up. Knew it. Yeah, there was no way they were going to put it in the boss fight because too much of that arena gets destroyed and you're fighting a boss. Um, but I assume as soon as we hit this jet ski... <laughs> oh, are we going to have to... Are we going to have to actually... Oh, we are. Shit. Woohoo! And yeah, all that tech from. Woohoo! Oh shit, ow. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, it, it makes no sense to not use the boat tech from, uh, from earlier on. Woohoo! Oh shit! Ow! <laughs> oh. Yes! Indeed! Whoa! <laughs> I don't know who did the voice acting for Ashley, but they're clearly having a whale of a time. Oh, you are dead. Shit. I have no idea. I have no idea there. Um, what could I have done? Slow down? Maybe? Not taken as much damage? Did we just crash into a wall? I don't know. I do not love thrill rides. The last time I went to a thrill ride, I almost got decapitated. Because I'm too freaking tall. <laughs> okay. Oof. Nope. Let's try not to... Uh... Yeah, but let's not just hold W for the entire time. Let's actually manoeuvre. <laughs> yeah, Ashley's voice actress is having a whale of a time with this. Yeah, I think I just... Oh, ah. False. <laughs> She's loving it. And... Opening! You all right? I'm not sure that was insane. <laughs> Kaboom! No, that was too slow. Ah, the glow of morning.
Mission accomplished, right? Mission accomplished. When you're home safe. Thank you for saving me. Oh, don't mention it. You know, I could put in a word with my dad. Have you assigned to my detail, if you're interested? <laughs> you don't need me. You proved you could handle yourself. Even if you could use a lesson in knife safety. <laughs> Come on. Let's go home. <laughs> Jet skis don't have that much fuel. How do you know which way you're going? Condor 1? Bruce to Condor 1, do you read me? Come in. I said come in. Is this thing even on? Leon. Leon, are you and Ashley all right? Where are you? Come on! <laughs> That's a very kind of classic James Bond almost style ending, isn't it? Except that Leon and Ashley aren't, you know. Although I'm fairly certain Ashley wouldn't mind that. Oh, this is the village. I was thinking, what's with the weird wallpaper and the lace? But th this is the village from the start, isn't it? It's like, it's been so long <laughs> since we were in that section of the game. And yet oddly creepy music to go with it. Yeah, th this is the, you know, the village, village life. I can't say before Las Plagas because it's been going on for several hundred years by the sound of it. That was really, really good fun. Was it a great survival horror experience? No. I don't think that was realistically a survival horror game at all. Not in the same way that Resident Evil 2 and 3 and 1 were. But as a kind of a segue into a more action horror style excellent really really good nice dramatic shift in tone of the music there to the darker castle section of the game i i'm really really intrigued now as to to how different this is obviously i i i, I cannot play Resident Evil 4. If if I could have played the original game with its awful controls, for me, I'd have already done so because I tried a couple of times. Um, so for me, this is as my first Resident Evil 4 experience. Just just mwah, fabulous game. I've enjoyed this so much. It's got everything that I liked about Resident Evil 2 remake, Resident Evil 3 remake. Resident Evil 7 and 8. Ada? Who are you talking to? Patch me through. I've obtained the amber. Excellent. Is that Wesker? What are you planning to do with this? Do not pay it is Wesker. Questions. All you need to know is a new dawn is breaking. A hundred will give their lives so that just one may live. I am expediting that change. So we're talking millions of casualties. Billions. How ambitious. We're changing course now. Huh. She does have a conscience. And she's taking the amber for herself. Or for something else. But she's not taking it to Wesker. Also, how is Wesker alive? Isn't Wesker supposed to be dead at this point? I 
I don't know. The problem with Wesker as a character is that having watched many of the movies, I, I, I get confused really easily as to what and where and when Wesker is. Um... He survives. He's not in three, is he? No, he's not in three because that's the Birkins. He survives two. It's been ages since I played two, obviously. No, he's not in two. It's one. One is when Wesker is. Um. I, I am not a Resident Evil aficionado in terms of the the lore. Uh, as I said, I, I've not played 5 and 6. Um, I Apparently, unpopular opinion here, but I think the voice actress for AIDS did an absolutely fine job for that. When, when I heard that people had bullied her off the internet through just toxic abuse, I got really angry, as you can probably remember from that episode. Um, but I did wonder, you know, well, does Ada have more of a speaking role later that they could really say, oh, yeah, she's, she's not very good? No. <laughs> Is she not the person that they wanted? Yeah, clearly. Is she the person that did the voice in Resi 2? No, she's not. Um, do I, do I mean two or I mean three? Oh, no, I lose track. Yeah, it is Resi 2, isn't it, that she's in? Um, yeah, I mean, I suppose if I was playing those two games back to back, it would be like, oh, yeah, I'd be able to compare them. But frankly, I don't care enough. <laughs> the voice actress did an absolutely fine job for the part that she was given um there were a couple of slightly odd pauses um but that's not her fault that's just the direction yeah one of them when she was on that little voice call uh, and there was that encyclopedia ada comments uh, and there was like a really long pause um where she just kind of rolled her eyes i think that was kind of odd but that's nothing to do with the voice actress because she wasn't actually speaking then. That's just what they chose to do with the cutscenes. No, absolutely fine job. Really good voice acting work, motion capture work, excellent graphics, some slight hiccuping in very rare situations. Um, greatly designed environments. Great lightning at uh, lightning lighting. Obviously, there were there were several places where I just went. Screenshot button, screenshot button, and you know, you know, you know that I'm impressed anytime you know it's like, oh yeah, I've got to take a screenshot of that because I so rarely actually go back to my screenshot folders um, unless I'm using them to make thumbnails for videos. But the the actual gameplay was great, the gunplay was great. All of the guns that I tried felt really good. Obviously, I didn't try all of them. There's probably challenges for for trying all of them. I didn't do all of the shooting range stuff because, you know, I'll I'll clear all that up at some other time. Um, I'll probably end up doing another playthrough of this just with whatever broken weapons I can now buy. Um, I'm quite intrigued as to whether there are any um, unlockable outfits and stuff i know there were cosmetic outfits that you could get as pre-order so i'm assuming they're all in fact i think i think we've seen on the completion screen that there are some but it doesn't show you what they are so i don't know what they are yet uh, I'm, I'm quite intrigued as to to what those are going to be the music was great the voice acting was great the ambient has been good and suspenseful enough to give me a headache on multiple occasions um, I'm trying to think of any critique. The only place in the game I think that I could say mm, I wasn't a fan of that was that um, fight with the two Wolverine Claw guys. Um, 
But I'm sure there was a way because I found those bells in places in the room after. And I'm fairly certain I could probably have used those to give me an advantage. I think it was the fact that just the enemies kept on spawning. We died quite a few times and I've got zero problems with that. I don't think there were any deaths that were realistically... Well, I would say, oh, that was bullshit. That was unfair. Not that I can remember off the top of my head. The story was great. The setting was good. The different venues, locations were, were really nicely realised. Because I can't, because I don't have the experience with the original game, I can't say, ah, oh, this was improved in these areas because I just don't know. Literally all that I know, and I, I, I only know this because I saw it on a YouTube video title, um, is the fact that they have deepened the lore in this particular game from what it was in the original i don't know how i don't know by how much i don't know in what areas um i saved i think that video to my watch later so i'll go and you know watch that so I, so i can find out um but yeah this was a really 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 fun experience and i highly recommend it if you were a fan of action games resident evil 4 if you're a fan of somewhat mild, in some ways, horror, Resident Evil 4. Just, it was just really, really fun and really good. And I'm glad that I have been able to experience the story um, of the game. After credits, completion stuff. Again. Good Seven good work, promising agent, yeah. Seventeen hours, twenty minutes and fifty seconds. B Yeah, whatever. Nothing massively surprising there. Eighty eight saves versus you know, however many the hardcore whatever modes they are. Um, bingo Friday, 10 p.m. Book club next Saturday. Dispatch chopper. Uh, Darkest before dawn. Complete the chapter. Dismeet Osman Sadler. Raider. Obtain all treasures indicated on the island treasure map. Destroy all clockwork castellans. Complete the main story on standard mode or higher. Okay. Unlock costumes, pinstripe. Unlike bonus weapon, primal knife. Invincible knife. Sunglasses accessory. Foam mask. Flight cap. Chapter 16, 27. So I think that was the shortest chapter, wasn't it? Although not by much. But yeah, shortest chapter. Only the one death. Terrible accuracy, though. But not our lowest. So that's nice. What was our lowest chapter? Chapter 7. That was the first one in the castle, I think. Yeah. Next. When loading main story save data from a completed playthrough, you can carry over the data and start a new game. You'll be able to purchase new weapons from the merchant, but you cannot achieve an S plus rank. Okay. New playthrough standard. Change in the start screen. Always like it when they do that. Professional mode has been unlocked. Well, that's not me, is it? You can select the game mode when loading save games. Data from a completed playthrough when starting a new game. Bonuses. Credits, full vocal version. So, challenge. We've got all of those. Didn't get... Oh. Costumes, yes. Oh, they're cool. Extra content shop. Okay. So, we can now... Get the primal knife. Purchased. 
Unlock by completing a new game in the main story on professional mode without using any bonus weapons. Unlock by completing the main story on professional mode with an A rank. An accessory for Leon. An accessory for Leon. An accessory for Leon. Ah! Costumes for people. So we can get Ashley's and ours. These are models. So we could put sunglasses on if we really want to. Uh, go on. Why not? Change costumes via the extras menu. There's quite a lot of things. In fact, we can see what we get them for. Uh, main story on hardcore high with A. Standard or higher with A. Hardcore or higher. Standard or higher with A. Yeah, so we missed out on quite a few things. Probably for time-related stuff because I, I went back and I explored and so on and so forth. We've missed a model somewhere. Oh, this is probably an Ashley unlock, isn't it? Yeah. Clockwork Castellans. Let's have all those. Yeah. Obtain bonus weapons via the storage menu at any typewriter after purchase. Okay. Uh, so where is the extras menu? Oh. It's there. I don't think I really like that, <laughs> if I'm honest. So default will change, uh, will just do whatever for the story. I don't think these are actually particularly exciting, are they? Yeah, I'm sure the DLC will offer um, better ideas. Playthrough 2. So that's our best time for that. Oh, rank requirements. So to get an S rank, we needed to complete it under in under five in under five hours. So they're just time based. Yeah. So under five hours would give us uh, an S and an S plus on standard. Under twelve hours for A, and then anything past that is is a B. Total play time. 20 hours 47 minutes. Friends! Demogen has completed Resident Evil 4. And greatly enjoyed it. Greatly enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to do what I normally do for these games now. And I'm going to go to Nexus Mods. And I'm going to go and see what kind of silliness people have modded into the game. Because I always find that stuff really interesting. Um, I know already that there are multiple nudie mods for Ashley and Leon, because of course there are. I'm not going to be using those, because no. Um, but yeah, game was great. Two damage and thumbs up. Let me know down below. First of all, have you played the game? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it as much as or more or less than when you first played resident evil 4 the original if you have done so have you enjoyed my playthrough of it like subscribe all of that jazz thank you very much for watching i'm gonna go and take these headphones off now before my headache starts getting any worse scary man signing off until next mission bye Thank you very much for watching. 
If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.